worst spot? No? Yes? Yeah, we might, yes.
making it more likely that you return to prison. The Urban Institute released a prison research report in 2008, which found that over half of the United States prisons don't ensure that, pr that prisoners have a social security card, a birth certificate, a driver's license, or any other form of identification before they're released. This study also found that states such as California, Florida, and South Carolina place felon identification requests at the bottom of the pile, sometimes taking up to eight months or even longer for a valid ID. Past research studies performed by the Urban Institute have found that providing prisoners with even a temporary $5 identification would give them access to these services while they wait for their ID request to be fulfilled. Hopefully by now you are convinced of the many ways in which we can redesign our prison system to reduce recidivism. This would not only reduce the amount of people in our prisons, but could save us billions of dollars as well as properly integrate felons to become beneficial members of society. By supporting education and job skill training, maintaining outside networks, and helping prisoners secure a government ID, we can build a society that's built on progress rather than barriers. Now, it's important to realize that these aren't the only solutions to this problem. Focusing on mental health, properly treating substance abuse, and, and reducing solitary confinement are just a few other solutions proven to solve the recidivism problem in this country. I encourage all of you to take action by calling your local and state representatives. These individuals hold the power when it comes to allocating money towards prisons and also oversee each facility by maintaining contact with prison wards. If we make our voices heard, we can change the mass incarceration rates within this country to benefit us all. Thank you.